Now, everyone close your eyes. Picture yourself be as a soldier in a foreign place, being surrounded by those who hate you. You are starving, cold, wet, being welted and beaten down by the enemy. Would you give up or would you stay loyal to your country? Today I'm going to convey the loyalty Louis Zamperini has for our country. Now, as young adults, loyalty is a key component we should all strive to obtain. Through my research on this topic, I feel that the information I'm providing you is viable. I will be discussing the incidents of Louis's running career, his experience being held captive as a war prisoner, and the attempt to use Zamperini as propaganda of war. Now, Louis Zamperini was a young man when he became an Olympian runner. He had a whole future ahead of him. That was up until he signed up for World War II. Louis Zamperini risked his entire career in becoming a soldier. To me, this showed an act of loyalty to our country. His running career all started when he made his first break with a 412 mile in high school. After that, he went on to becoming a two-time NCAA champion at the University of Southern California, leading then into qualifying for the 1936 Olympian Games at the age of 19. <clears throat> now, a lot of us in this room are 19. Could you imagine be being an Olympian runner? According to BringBackTheMile.com, Louis Zamperini went on to finish 8th at the 1936 Olympic Games in 446.8 with a sub-60 second la final lap. With all this great accomplishments in mind, his loyalty to our country enlightened when he made the big decision to sign up for the war. Knowing he would have to give up his successful career, he had just started for himself. With that, he chose to fight and to stand by the United States of America during the World War II. It was no surprise Louis Zamperini was a fast runner, although in becoming a soldier, I do not think Louis Zamperini knew what he signed up for when he was landed in the hands of the enemy. After his plane crashing, being adrift for, on the ocean for 47 days, and being faced with the death of his other platoon mates, Louis Zamperini was really tested when he was captured by the Japanese and became a prisoner of war. <clears throat> for instance, in a scene on the Unbroken film, after the 47 days, Zamperini's raft ended up on the borders in which the Japanese were stationed. They took Mr. Zamperini and made him a prisoner of war. They would beat on him sensibly, making him feel vulnerable. Once they had him in that vulnerable state, they then tested to see if he would be willing to give up any information on the U.S. plans or where they are stationed at. Louis Zamperini refused. Knowing the consequences he faced, he would Louis stayed loyal to, to our country, not giving the Japanese any information that could have sabotaged the U.S. military. The Japanese put Louis in a vulnerable state to not only fend for information, but to persuade him to be used as propaganda. There was a point where Louis Zamperini was brought into a Japanese radio station to publicly announce a statement that was written by the Japanese. Their idea behind this was to embarrass America, basically say that Louis Zamperini is just fine in the hands of the Japanese, which was obviously wrong if you were to watch the unbroken film. Louis refused to read the statement. <clears throat> According to MyHero.com, they stated that the producer smiled, asking him to join them on a tour. They brought him to a cafeteria and fed him homemade American-style food. Now, being in a vulnerable state, who doesn't like a nice homemade cooked meal after being in the war for several years? The producers told Louis that he could live there and never see the camp ever again. And... When he was on tour, he also saw fellow other Americans that were easily persuaded and also used as propaganda. So, if your other Americans are doing it, American soldiers are doing it, why couldn't he? So, they promised him that he would never see the camp again if he were to make that statement. <clears throat> but again, Louis refused to become their enemy's propaganda. He was in a vulnerable state, therefore rejecting the proposal after being shown that amazing food and living style <clears throat> shows strength. Now, his act of refusal showed a great deal of loyalty to our country. There are many times where we can fall under the persuasion of others when put in a vulnerable state. In this case, Louis' loyalty fought beyond that. <clears throat> With that being said, 
Louis Zamperini possessed loyalty to our country when he gave up his running career to become a soldier, never provided information to the enemy when being brutally beaten, and didn't fall under their persuasions to be used as propaganda. So I'm going to ask you the same thing I did earlier. What would you do if you're in Louis Zamperini's shoes? Would you have stayed loyal to your country?